electricity. Because the way we got to these properties was that we were assuming, assuming static equilibrium. That's where uh, we use this definition. If it's a static equilibrium, then charges inside the conductor cannot have any forces on it. That's why electric field was zero, and so on. So uh, the reason I'm highlighting this is now we are going to move beyond this assumption. We are going to move on to situations where this assumption will fail. So if you are somehow um, leaning on this beyond the static electricity, um, you, you, you are not starting at the right place. So uh, let me do this quick demo. So I have uh, this long conducting wire um, prepared. Let me just pass around the little segments of the same wire material. I found this roll of, oh, you guys probably can see. Roll of wire, um, just pass it around so that everyone can see what it is. I dropped one. Wait. Sorry, I dropped one of them. <laughs> pass this and pass it to the center, please, so that people can see it. I mean, it's just a regular piece of wire. There's nothing special about these wires. Um, I had a three prepared, but I think I dropped one of them. Anyways, um, while it's going around, let me, so you know, it's just a regular piece of wire. I think it might be made out of steel because it rusts. I was to send the papering off of the rust. Um, so, so this is a piece of conductor and Normally, what you do say is that because this is conductor, voltage difference from one end to the other end of the uh, wire is uh, zero, according to what we have said. And even with this power supply, you can kind of see it. Uh, let me actually set up some of these settings for safety purposes. So I'm going to light up this light bulb. And I'm just touching the second knob to do something that I'll explain later. Uh, wait, I might, yeah. Um, I have to set this for safety purposes. All right. I'll explain what the second knob is doing. Uh, all right, that's good enough. All right. Um, so what we say about conductors, it holds most of the time. So. Um, I have this power supply, these two wires connected to the power supply. Right now, the voltage between these two, it reads six volts. That's what you are seeing on the screen over there. Thank you. Everyone got to see the wire, nothing special. Um, right now, it says six volts. So what it's saying is that there's a voltage difference of six volts between them. Now, when I allow these conductors to touch, by the way, don't do this too often. It's uh, um, yeah, don't do this with regular battery, please. I, this uh, power supply has a safety filter feature built in where it is actually safe for me to do it. You do see a little bit of spark. When I do this, uh, sometimes you see a spark. But so, you know, when I allow these conductors to touch, then there's zero volt between them. Well, close enough to zero, right? So, so this is what we have been talking about, that um, conductors are, that defines EQ potential. But, when you set up a particular arrangement, sometimes you don't see zero volt uh, between two ends of a conductor. So let me connect one of the wires to this end here. So wire connected here. Now let me wrap it around for good measure. And when I, so right now the other end is not connected, so it's reading six volts as you might expect. But when I connect this at this end here, oops. now it doesn't quite read zero volt anymore. It's reading 0 0.4 volt. And in fact, how many volt it reads, it'll depend on where I place it. Let me take this length of the wire, um, take about half its length, and uh, this is about half its length. Half its length and connect it here. It was 0 0.4 volts before, right? When I connect it here now, now it's a 0 0.2 volt. Now let me do one more thing. So uh, let me take the same length of wire, but connect it twice. So, yeah. so you know, double up the wire. 
So connect this end to this here. And connect the other end, same length as before, here. And this time, well, it's somewhere between 0 0.2 and 0 0.1, because it's flickering between the two. So you get, uh, so how much voltage that I'm reading at that other end? It depends on the exact arrangement of this wire. So this is the type of situation that now we'll start to deal with that does not, um, where the assumption of static equilibrium doesn't hold anymore. So, uh, so let me, uh, so let's try to describe exactly in what way it's not a static equilibrium anymore and what that means. So let me call this intro to um, circuit. Uh, 